Welcome to 7alpha. I wanted to show the result of my previous aligning uh, on uh, the dividing head. What I've done is I have leveled it out completely after initially leveling it with using the zero mark on the side of the dividing head. So the first thing I'm going to do is to find the highest spot on the bar by moving in the y-axis and then I'm going to move along in the x-axis for a distance of about 8 inches. So gradually moving along and watching the indicator. Now the indicator might move a little bit and that's okay. So that's 4 inches and 5 inches. Again, just keeping an eye on the indicator. Remember this is a round bar so we may be falling off a little bit and we will check for that in just a very short while. And now we've reached the um, maximum extent which is 8 inches and I am going to go ahead and uh, check to see exactly where I am in terms of the drop. So going back and forth on the y-axis to zero out the indicator once again and you can see that it has changed by just a little bit maybe under a thou. Like right now it seems like it's about half a thou so not too bad for 8 inches of travel, perhaps 3 quarters of a thousandth. And that amounts to about 0 0.02 millimeters. Alright, time to loosen everything up and start from scratch. I'm going to initially align it with the mark on the side of the dividing head and then we will fine tune it with the uh, indicator. Right now the clamps are only finger tight and I'm just going to go back and forth on the y-axis to find the highest spot on the bar. And here we go, checking it out and I believe we have the highest spot now. And now we'll go back and forth on the bar a few times, a few little gentle taps with the uh, hammer and let's see where we come. Again, it's just going back and forth until things start to look good. It's a bit tedious, but it doesn't take that long in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to look to see if the indicator has stopped moving and it appears that it's staying fairly stable. Now, as of right now, the indicator is staying good but the clamps on the dividing head are only finger tight so I'm going to tighten up the clamps a little bit. Things will move when you tighten the clamps uh, and I'm going to tighten them only a little bit maybe about a quarter of a turn each and let's see what happens. Alright more tapping, more checking and more tightening and then once again uh, we will check once more going back and forth along the x-axis and of course every time zeroing along the y-axis to find the highest spot. Again continuing with the finding the highest spot, moving along the bar, a little bit of tapping and see what happens. Now it ends up being about 5 thou higher on this end so I'm going to tap it up to be about 2 thou higher and see how that works out. And once more back to going back and forth, finding the high spot, kind of zeroing it out just for the fun of it. Going out 8 inches, checking the high spot, tightening the clamps some more. My goal is to tighten up the clamps enough that they won't come loose after I'm done. Alright, all the tightening is done and now it is time for the moment of truth. Alright, so now we are going to zoom in after having found the highest spot on the bar. And it's not focused perfectly. When I was looking at the little screen on the side of the camcorder, I thought I had good focus, but well, you can tell how the needle is moving. And we will keep going out to the 8 inch mark and see exactly where we are at 8 inches. 
7 inches and 8 inches and I will try to find the high spot once again and see exactly what our end result has been. And that's half a thou or 12 microns over 8 inches or 200 millimeters. Not too bad. Next I'm going to check and see what the runout is at 8 inches out from where we first started our measurement. Uh, and this is a lot more than 8 inches from the spindle nose itself. And carefully rotating the spindle we come up with just under 3 thou of run out at 8 inches out. And next we'll check the run out at the near end and that ends up being just under 1 thou or just under 0 0.025 millimeters at the near end. And again this is still about an inch and a half from the spindle nose itself. Now having spent all this time I'm just going to keep it locked at 0 degree because that is where most of my work is done. Well I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.